South South and South East zones of the National Youth Council of Nigeria have commended Okowa for his achievements in infrastructural development, youth and women empowerment in the state. This is coming as they say Okowa has transformed the face of Delta State. What we've seen for the past few days we've been in Delta State is a thing of a joy that um, there is um, relevant peace we've seen and um, a lot of infrastructure we've all seen want to seriously thank him for working with the youth because um, from my little investigations, 50% of his cabinet are made up of youth. Infrastructure is important for faster economic growth and alleviation of poverty in the country. This much was understood by the Delta State Governor at the inception of his administration, year in, year out, Okowa committed huge resources into infrastructure. That is why the South, South and Southeast zones of the National Youth Council of Nigeria have come to recognize Okowa's unparalleled achievements in education, youth empowerment, poverty alleviation, and social welfare. The crisis we have today in insecurity is because some, so many things were neglected. And when we are seeing all these things, people we are not seeing from the angle we are seeing it. Now so many farm, uh, farm product has been wasted. So there's going to be farming if care is not taken, if there's no intervention, urgent intervention. These farmers need urgent intervention from the federal government and the state government and individuals who are well to do. Okowa, popularly called Ekweme, has transformed Delta State by investing in roads, airports, and water transportation. The National Youth Council of Nigeria says Okowa has shown good leadership in Delta State. And uh, when you look at what is happening in Nigeria, so many people are, you know, rallying all over the place. But, you know, as young people and as somebody who has had experience in youth leadership, rally is not enough. Nobody has won election by a rally or whatever. What is important is for the youth. You can't desire for change with just a spoken word. The youth must ensure they get their PVC. That is the only way you can change the narrative. You cannot change it with mouth. We want change or we want continuity. Whatever you want, your PVC is the gun and the bullet you need for change or, or continuity. As the build-up to 2023 general elections in the country intensifies, the group is calling on the youth to come out and cast their votes, even as it calls on the Independent National Electoral Commission to ensure a credible exercise. Jemima Boloko, Arise News, Delta.